Okay, uh, here we are. A little bit of a different view, I'd say, right? I moved, uh, which is one of the reasons why I have not been uh, making any videos. That I've just been busy, uh, just with life and stuff. The weather has cooled down, um, just projects every weekend. Uh, I typically only ride on the weekends. I'm making a, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? An exception. I'm making an exception for today. Um, just because I wanted to update everything, uh, this will probably be my last video uh, for the year, just in Oregon. Once we hit fall, it's just downhill for riding. We get leaves everywhere. It's just cold. Um, it's not It's not too enjoyable. Um, I really only have summer gear, uh, so warm. I mean, I have my uh, NBT pants, which work pretty well in the cold, um, but I only have a mesh jacket and I don't really want to buy a like winter jacket just because the bike currently is still on the uh, Pirelli's, which are really only good for like warm weather. Um, if I put on road sixes, I'd probably be more inclined to buy a, uh, a nice jacket, a warm jacket. Uh, but it's just not, I, I like summer riding. I don't want to chance it or anything like that, uh, in the, uh, in the rain. So here we are. Uh, welcome back. Uh, very sorry for taking so long to be to, to, to eh. sorry can sorry for taking so long uh, to do anything uh, it's just YouTube is not a full-time job for me uh, I just merely have fun doing it uh, there haven't been any changes to the street triple at all uh, aside from being able to keep it at my house which is freaking sweet the unfortunate thing is, is I moved in the first weekend of uh, October, so it's cold. I think it's like 50 out right now, um, but it should be about 70 later today, which is when I'll record the writing part of the video. Uh, but yeah, this is the this is the new garage. Uh, it's two car, but I only fit mine in here. Uh, my wife is so kind to let me have the entire garage. See, I, I said she can have the house. Uh, I just care about the garage. So uh, I have my rack here um, that you probably saw in, in an old video at my my town home I used to live in. Um, got the bike in the corner, and I'll show you I'll show you more about where the bike is and stuff. I have some plans that I want to do. Uh, this isn't like your typical YouTuber, like oh you bought a house. No, I rent this place. Uh, I'm not paying uh, that much money for these types of houses. But uh, cars in here, cars always been just garage kept. A uh, couple changes to the car. Um, since you guys have seen it last, um, unless you follow my like uh, car Instagram one, uh, you probably won't know. But yeah, no, I've gone away from shiny and all that stuff, and I'll I'll get into that in the later part of the video. But um, yeah, let me show you uh, the current bike setup and go from there. All right, so this is how we're rocking with the bike currently. Um, I have this little like corner in the garage with the rack. Um, got my Triumph banner in the back. And this awesome Triumph rug that my father got me. Um, it's a gift. I think it's from Mexico. I think that's what the M is. It's like Triumph Mexico. Um, he got this when he was in Mexico. So I'm going to assume that it's that. Um, but yeah, there have been zero changes to the Street Triple. I did put the uh, Moto Vinyls um, like rim thingies on. I don't like the word rim, but they're wheels. But the wheel things, wheel tape, wheel stickers... Um, it's a pretty direct match to the orange on the bike, which I have decided to just embrace and keep. It's not really my favorite color, but yeah, no. So, I mean, this is the, uh, little setup here. I have my helmet and boots up here. I need to get like a nice helmet hanger, um, my backpack with a cool little patch and my Revit jacket. Pants are over there for whatever reason, but, uh, yeah, I'll figure out, <laughs> I'll figure out where to put those in a, in a later, at a later time, but, uh. Yeah, no, this is the garage. It's pretty cool. Uh, I have all my Hot Wheels up there because I have no other place to put them. Right, Can? <laughs> I have no other place to put them. Just every wall is taken up, and I have these like weird shelves and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's fun times. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and install the quad lock mount show you guys how I did it because this is like the most commented thing I get whether it's on Instagram can you even see me Instagram or uh yeah YouTube so you're probably not gonna be able to see it I will grab my phone light but it's the pro stem mount um, but I'm gonna take it off and reinstall it just so that you guys can see 
So let's get on to that. Okay, uh, so we have the quad lock um, off the bike. So with three pieces here, we have the actual stem mount itself, the mount for your phone, and the vibration dampener because iPhone. Um, this is the quad lock pro. The difference between this and the regular one is that you can remove the arm in the middle section here. So you see how short and small this is, right? That's what helps me get it as close to the handlebar as possible, the stem as possible. So this is very simple. Um, I did not have to remove the handlebars or the stem, nothing, right? It just slips right on in there. I will uh, show that now. It literally just goes right in. See? Right in. Not hard, right? And you can move this around. Like, if you plan on having it like this, well, you can't. I don't know why you would because it just wouldn't work even if you did take the handlebars off. So literally just drop it in like that. And then when you tighten it, these things come out and there's like little rubber spacers on here they uh they grip it so i'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down and uh yeah i'll show you what i do next see i think the annoying thing about quad lock is the allen wrench that comes with it i don't know the size it's not labeled on it in in any place but i don't have any other allen wrench so that's this size i'm sure it's some weird Australian thing because they're an Australian company. So what do they use? Metric? Imperial? I don't know. The right one. Whatever it is. I'm not trying to piss off the Australians. Um, but yeah, so just tighten this down. Nice and snug. Um, I don't have grips, so I used croissant wrench and I just snugged it up with this because this isn't this isn't the best way to do it, but it is a way to do it. And there we go, nice and tight. This whole mount is metal, so you don't really have to worry about breaking it. It won't break. Okay, and then the vibration damper goes on after. Um, I have mine up, like the triangle part, I have that up toward the center, um, just so that when I have the mount on, I'll show you in the next part. When I have the mount on, it, uh, it clears this bottom part. So then, again, you just screw it on in really not that difficult um, but yeah the stem pro mount by quad lock that is the one that you want to do and i am not sponsored by quad lock um, i have spent i think they're this is probably close to 150 dollars set up with the i think the stem mount was like 80 the vibration damper i think is like 40 um, so we're already at 120 right there and then i think this came with it so okay about 120 but then you gotta buy the case so think about that and then i have this on the bottom, like that. That does not look right, but I'm gonna assume it is. Actually, did I have that the right way? See, now I'm second guessing myself. Maybe I didn't. Well, yeah, no, that, that makes sense because if I didn't, then you wouldn't be able to get the thing off. So then, yeah, it literally just screws right in. <laughs> I can't wait to watch the video back um, before I took this off and be like, oh, well, that's wrong. The way I had it on before is the way that it will uh, stay. So if this is wrong, then yeah, you get it. And then the phone simply just goes on. Boom. I don't have my quad lock case on because I haven't been riding, but it just goes on like that. That way you can still push this tab to get out, right? So pretty much how that works. Not a difficult uh, task at all. Um, but yeah, that's how I uh, installed the quad lock pro mount on my stallion. That was lame. Uh, so don't mind the mess that we have going on in here. Um, I just moved in like two weeks ago and the inside of the house uh, has been the priority. Um, the garage is somewhat put together. I have my banners and stuff up, the Hot Wheels and stuff, but I have like just junk right here that I gotta find a place for. I need like a outdoor shed because I have a backyard, which means this little dude has a place to romp and stomp. Um, in the winter, since I don't ride at all, um, I just don't have the bike to do so. I don't like cold and I don't like rain. And two wheels and water don't mix very well with me. So, what would you think about me doing more car stuff? See, I have this. This is my Stage 2 Plus um, B9S4. Uh, it is 034 Motorsport tuned. Uh, it's got TE37s. It's got Yokohama tires. Canon is eating things. Stop it. Um, yeah, right now it's just on 92, um, fuel. So just ran regular out of the pump. Uh, but it is a 
full E85 uh, capable setup. Uh, the only problem is, is that there are two ways to get E85 in this state. Uh, that is to go to a place downtown and get it, which is kind of a journey, or to buy a drum. But the idea of having a 55 gallon, highly flammable drum of ethanol in the garage doesn't butter my egg roll. So I'll probably do maybe a couple videos of E85 in this car because I have wanted to try it. I did upgrade the uh, high pressure fuel pump uh, so I could flow more. Uh, that gives me a little bit more uh, mid, mid range power with this car. But um, yeah, no, it's just, it's been, it's been interesting uh, with this car because it went from like the, the slammed on BBSs that you saw in previous videos, shiny uh, with small tires to this, um, I was previously running 10 and a halfs uh, with a stretch, but now uh, nine and a halfs with a uh, 255 instead of a 245. So the difference there is awesome. I mean, these are summer tires, so I can't really do a ton um, in the winter, but I don't really plan on driving in the snow. And I still have my stock wheels that have um, all seasons on them. So if I want to, um, I can, but I can make POV driving to this. I mean, you see all the roads that I ride, so could always drive them too. It just it gets cold and it gets rainy. So it's like, this is the time of the year where like you just get sad because it's nothing but just cold and boring and all that type of stuff. So yeah, it's uh, my S4. So maybe at the end of the video, if you want to wait till the end, I, I'll go over a little like mod thread, mod thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, and just specs on the car. But um, for now, um, I'm going to go ahead and get on the bike. Um, we're going to go on a quick little ride just to, I guess, run it because it has, I have not ridden it since, uh, well, I guess I rode it two weeks ago when I rode it from where I used to keep it to here. Um, but other than that, I haven't gone on any fun rides. So it's just been a, a garage princess for the time being. Uh, it sucks because I used to just pump out so much videos, but truth be told, you get to a certain point with things and now I, I kind of see it, how these YouTubers will like buy a project and then Oh, uh, yeah, it's done. So now they got to buy a new one. I'm not that way. I can't do that um, financially and like mentally. I just don't want to put myself into that. So the bike's pretty much done unless I want to do like cosmetic stuff for now. I still really want to do like the Duca bike, the clear clutch cover. I think that's cool. It's just kind of expensive. I mean, 500 bucks for that. It's just pff, miss me with that. Um, but no, I mean, it's a great bike. I, I made the content that I wanted. I think you guys have a ton of videos to go back and watch. Um, that just go over like from anything from like, do I like this bike? Duh. Uh, just to exhaust videos and what you need to know. Um, but maybe I'll make a, a one-off video of like every single in-depth part that I have because I still get so many comments um, about like exhaust, like, oh, like, did you cut the exhaust or like, is this, what header are you using? Did you tune the bike? And it's just, just go back, do, do some research, right? Just, it's there. I've, been fully transparent on everything with this bike. Um, it's there. Just do a little bit of research. That's how I was able to do these mods is just by looking them up, figuring out. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get the gear on, uh, get on the bike and go for a little cruise. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, this feels, this feels new. It's been a long time since I've done this. Let's, uh, get a little cold start going. A little ticky. A little bit of a... Ticking a little bit, but it's gone now. It's normal. I'm going to let it warm up for just a second. Uh, this is my driveway. It's pretty cool. You can park a car over there. Uh, and then I have two spots right here. So, pretty sweet. Uh, the bike is very dirty. I might clean it today. It's probably necessary while I uh, store it. Um, just check tire pressures, so we're good there. Uh, chain seems to be good. I need to lube it, so we're going on a, just a quick little ride today. Tires are most important, so, uh, yeah. Just my little mental checklist before we get going. Um, but other than that, uh, let's get going. Okay. Oh, man, this feels good. This feels real nice. Uh, all right, so I don't have any direction on how this uh, this video is going to go. Um, so bear with me uh, We're just going to go for a little afternoon stroll um, While I take my lunch break um, Just so that I can throw a little bit of riding into the video because Well truth be told I've been itching uh, 
but if I'm being honest, like truly honest, I haven't really... Life just gets busy, I'm sure all of you are aware, uh, and things become, you know, second priority. During summer, you know, the beginning of summer especially, uh, all I want to do is ride. That's it. All I ever want to do is just ride, and that's just because I'm usually cooped up in my house all day. Um, just working or going to the gym, and that's pretty much the only thing that uh, my entire life, uh, my entire life uh, holds. So, but you know, it's just I've been riding for I'll, I'll say two years, two seasons now, a little bit more than that, um, and it's it's no longer like I need you, hello. It's no longer like a. Uh, I have to ride every day type situation. Obviously that, that mindset will change, um, especially after uh, winter is over and we get into like spring and it starts to warm up again. Um, but this is just a weird 70 degree sunny day um, in October. So eh, might as well get out and ride. That's why I decided to make a video today. Wife's at work. I was just at home with uh, Cannon and uh, yeah, had a little bit of time on my lunch break. So here we are. So I think a, uh, an interesting a topic that I, I want to talk about uh, is is probably just going to be like YouTube and like what I'm going to be doing with the Street Triple, things like that, right? Because, oh my god, my I tied the, the sweatshirt and uh, the straps came loose, so now I just have a ticking and I can't, these, yeah. So I guess the main point of this video is where have I been? Why am I not doing YouTube as much anymore? Uh, and while well, I've given you the answer of I'm just busy, I have other things going on, this and that. Um, truth be told, I just don't have a lot of things that I could do to the Street Triple already, or anymore, I guess. Um, the biggest things to do are exhaust, right? And check, done. I still haven't tuned it. I have not put in a new air filter in. I don't see the need yet. That, that'll probably be something that I'm just like bored in the middle of winter and I'm like, you know what? Let's tune it. Um, but other than that, right, like everything else, I'm just kind of done with the bike like not done like I want to get rid of it but like done is in like I don't really have much more that like I could do that makes sense like financially and like mentally right like if I'm being honest like if I were to do something crazy it would probably be clip-ons just to see what the hype is I think there's a company like Woodland or Woodstock or some something like that that makes um makes clip-ons like a clip-on thing for this but eh, that's just not something I'm interested in doing so here we are uh, with the bike just in its current phase and I don't make YouTube videos anymore so I'm sorry for that um, it's it's just hard because I ride the same roads and it's on the same bike and there's nothing really like new like I don't have anything new so why make a video you know what I mean other than just like me aimlessly talking to the camera there's not a ton that I can that I that I have to I guess go over um, but I mean I still love the bike uh, I still think it's a great grab I think everybody should have one uh, and as time goes on I'm sure there will be little things that I do to progress like I still want to do carbon fiber around the bike but those aren't like needs right like I just my wife and I just moved into a house so that's obviously a little bit of a priority right now. I just discovered a new weird um, obsession with Nikes. So I'm all kind of like just into that. Uh, it's just, you know, there's just a lot of stuff, right? Time goes on, days go by, you get older. It is what it is. Um, however, I still didn't, I did, what am I saying? I got to take this on a pretty long journey with a couple guys, or a few guys, um, from my Triumph dealership. I can't remember if I've mentioned this in a past video or not. Um, we went and took a, a really, really cool ride. It was four 24 street triples. Uh, so two grays, a red, and a yellow. Uh, and it was really cool. I'll throw a picture up now. Uh, super awesome time, amazing road. Um, I would like to go solo ride. There was something hanging in the road there. Uh, I would like to go back and solo ride that so that I could like document it because it, it felt like it was straight out of a movie like you're just these winding roads right next to a big creek and then you're in like a valley and there's trees on both sides it's got to be like one of the coolest roads that I've ever ridden um, 
So yeah, highly recommend that uh, that ride. I, I'll try to remember. I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but I'll throw in a little, uh, a whatchamacallit, a screenshot of, of the road. It's so nice out today. It's, it's cool because we've gotten rain, a um, good amount of rain over the past, I don't know, three weeks or so. And uh, so now the, the fields are coming back to life and uh, it's a little green and yeah, it's just, just good times, man. Oh God, I miss this bike, man, I miss it. It's so good. Just every time I ride it, I get so excited. I forget, honestly, I forget how good of a bike this is until I do just like little tiny spurts like that. Like just little tiny little things. And you're like, okay, sweet. Um, next year though, I might take it a little bit more serious. I don't know if I'm 100% gonna do a track day yet because this is just, it's a hobby, but I also, it's an expensive bike and I the last thing I wanna do is lay it down like that is the last thing that I would I want to do so for now I just goof off on the streets and have a blast doing it so this is my favorite little bit of this road and then it just gets kind of boring after I don't want to go too crazy because I'm a little rusty but I have no idea the condition of these roads because it's rained, so I'm going to take it a little easy. Oh, we'll see a little wet there. Then this turn's scary because you can go through it. Sometimes gravel right here, but it's all clean, so that's good. There's gravel there. Woo. So good man uh, so yeah in terms of just like YouTube and the future for it uh, this will oh, some gravel in the road uh, this will probably be one of the last videos for a while I keep hitting my camera because I'm trying to adjust the straps um, this will probably be one of the last videos for a while um, unless I don't think you guys are but unless you guys are interested in maybe some Audi content uh, I could just you know throw some whatever the hell Audi stuff up there the problem with that car is that it's pretty much built uh, there's not a ton more I could do to it unless I go hybrid turbo which would be sweet um, but that's very expensive and I truth be told I think I'm done with that car I don't want to get rid of it yet um, because the next car I want is gonna be like a 997 or 991 Porsche but I've got to work a little harder to get there a uh, little bit a little bit harder uh, just you know life goes on just gotta keep working um, but no, I mean, it's YouTube was kind of just like, a, oh, hey, I bought this bike. Let me make videos on it since I'm assuming people are either waiting for theirs or they want it or they don't have theirs yet. Uh, so I was just like, you know what? I can get this now. I'm somewhat creative. So why not just uh, give this uh, give this a go? What are you doing here, buddy? Why not give it a go, right? Uh, so here we are made like 40 videos I think this year which is wild um, and I don't really have much more I guess to go on about I really wanted to like get the new Osmo or the DJI the new the whatever it's called it's like a GoPro but it's just 10-bit coloring uh, 60 uh, FPS at a uh, uh, 4k or maybe it was 120 I don't know which is crazy but no I, I was thinking about doing some different camera gear but at the end of the day man I just like that's I'm teetering on the line of like why well, spend more money for something that already works you know what I mean like I'm just having a blast doing what I do with my Hero 9 and it's perfectly fine so I don't have too much more that I can give you guys but um, I'll just talk about random stuff I guess from here on out thing just 
talks. Dude, there's like flying things everywhere. They look like spider webs. I mean, it is October, but damn. Look how pretty this is today, man. Not a clue in the sky. like no people going left so we can give her a good old rip I'll wait for this car to pass I don't know. We'll get going is that a cop down there that would suck that would really suck oh it looks like they paved this see there's like hanging there's flying stuff Oh my god, this bike has so much top end, it's crazy. Fresh paved roads, so good. So we're going 100 and I'm sure you guys can hear me fine. Shifts is so much fun. <laughs> Man. Oh, beautiful times. Beautiful freaking times. This is pretty, man. It's so pretty out. So I noticed during my, uh, my fly, oh, some gravel. Uh, during, during that little rip right there. Uh, I think the camera is loose and it got knocked with the wind so you might have been looking at my nuts. Sorry about that. Uh, wasn't my intentions but uh, I think it's fixed now. My apologies. We are in a, a school zone out in the sticks. Don't know who goes out here but yep fun times. Obviously still have more work to do. Dude there's just like spider webs everywhere. What's going on? Is there something I'm not like familiar with in Oregon here is spider webs everywhere I'm so confused I don't remember this last year it's all in my hand get off weird very weird uh, but good news is uh, I live very close to the the hills like I moved closer to the hills that I ride in so it's like it's right there like if you could see it it's like it's like it's right there uh, and yeah no it's I'm freaking stoked uh, it's it's where I eventually wanted to end up where I wanted to start my family so I'm I'm stoked for it but I do apologize for the lack of videos maybe I'll find you know it'll probably happen and I'm just gonna say this right now before I, I close out the uh, the writing part of this video uh, I'll get super bored in the winter uh, and then I'll, I'll start, you know, I'll probably do like some things like carbon and I'll make little videos on that or the the clear clutch casing from Duca bike or DBK or whatever it's called. Um, just little things like I, I wanted to powder coat the wheels to a different color. Um, just, you know, make the bike mine, probably grab new tires. I've put, I think there's close to 4,000 miles on the bike now that I put in the in the time that I've had it. Um, so I might uh, take these tires and just either keep them for if I do a track day, store them on the wall, do it for something, but I'll probably grab some Road 6s or Power 5s or some Michelins, I'm not sure, something that's a little bit more all season rating so that like when springtime comes and it's a little warmer or a little cooler, I guess, cooler than this because it's 66 out right now and I feel fantastic, which is great, uh, but when it's cooler than this, I don't think that the uh, Pirellis that come on the bike are, are going to be going to be a good option. Um, so yeah, we might do little things here and there. But uh, if you guys are interested in Audi videos, uh, I could always do that. It's not really hi. It's not really motorcycle, but it is motor stuff. So cars. 
I mean, I know more about cars than I do motorcycles. That's what I've been doing for the past decade of my life. A little bit more than that, actually. 13 years. Wow, wow that's crazy. But yeah, so uh, thank you for, uh, for watching my riding part of the video. Freaking Volkswagen wanted a piece. Wasn't gonna have it. Now they're tailgating me. All right, guys, thank you so much for uh, watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll see you when I see you, I guess. Uh, if you have any other questions or comments, uh, I guess leave them down below. Later, guys.